pretty thick. Is this for an infant? Like a newborn, probably, infant? <laughs> Look, I know something. What are you buying now? Okay, so today I will be doing an update of where I am right now. Um, 11 and 12 vi um, DPO video, I said that I will be doing a live pregnancy test, 14 DPO, if AF did not come. Usually my period comes in the morning, like just when I wake up. So yesterday I was so excited it did not come um, until I got home. So yes, the witch did arrive. Um... And I am pretty depressed about it. You know, each cycle I tell myself, you know, it's fine, don't get depressed, you know, there's always next cycle. But it's really hard not to get depressed, especially my cycles are 36 days and it's just so long. I definitely wish it was only 28 days. And the thing, part that sinks the most is because, you know, you do your two week wait and you get so excited and you're finally, you know, over the two week wait and then your period comes. And then you have to wait for that to get over. And then you have to wait until you ovulate. And then you have to wait for the two-week wait again. And it's like, oh, come on, Lord, please give me a break. Please let me get pregnant. Um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's depressing, of course. And I'm sure so many other people that got their BFNs or their AFs this cycle are all depressed and... You know, when people say don't stress about it, it's really hard not to. Um, especially when you made sure you did it at the exact times that you were supposed to. We did it, I think, four or five times before ovulation. So, you know, it just didn't happen for us this cycle. Hopefully, next cycle. Um, and I think the more upsetting, the more, you know, I get upset because... I work for, a, sorry, my hair, I work for a school and, you know, my dream was to ha give birth in either June, like May or June, because I'd have July and August off with the baby plus the six weeks that I'd get. So now I would, if I got pregnant, now, if I was pregnant, I would have had it in July, which I at least would have had July, I would have had half of July and August off. Now... If I get pregnant, pregnant this cycle, I would have it in August, which I'd only have a little bit of August off. So then the next cycle, I'd only have no, none of the summer off. So, you know, it is kind of stressful and I'm supposed to be in a wedding next October and I probably won't be in it if I am nine months pregnant. So I was hoping to, you know, if I got pregnant then I would give birth before I even needed to be in the wedding but no that's not going to work out my way <laughs> um so yeah at 13 at 12 dpo my temperature spiked up a little bit to 97.91 and then at 13 dpo it dipped to 97.39 and 14 dpo which is today it is at 97.24 and last cycle, the second day of AF, it was 97.28. So, yeah, she's here. Um, I guess that's really, you know, what else am I going to say in this video? It's, I'm um, sad, of course. I was crying and it might be stupid, but I don't care. I mean, you, sometimes you don't realize how bad you want this until, you know, you do get your period or you do get that negative and it's just... You know, of course, it's upsetting, and I pray for every one of you that is trying that maybe you got your um, positive this cycle, and, you know, give me some more hope, um, and I please pray that people that didn't get their positives, and, you know, AF did come, that you stay hopeful with me, and just keep praying that, you know, maybe next cycle is our cycle. I mean, there's nothing else you can do about it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, giving me support, and I just appreciate all the comments and all the baby dust and all the nice things that you guys say to me. Um, it means so much to me, and you know it's awesome to have you guys 
to talk to. And thank you so much for the comments about the um, uterus pain. I definitely think you guys are right. I think it must have been a um, assist, but I definitely, you know, I'm glad I didn't make an appointment because I had my period, so I wouldn't have been able to go anyways. Um, so Monday is my appointment, so hopefully be able to find out what that was about. And I'm going to be making a, another appointment with the midwife that I want to deliver with. Um, this doctor is a different doctor um, from the one I'm going to. So this one that I'm going to will be specifically for preconception and all that stuff. So make sure everything's looking good in there. <laughs> Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much to the people who have already subscribed. Alright guys, bye.